Hi, welcome to this video series where I answer questions from the readers of Monovator.com. Monovator is the leading UK website for personal finance related issues. The question in this video comes from Rachel who um, asks whether amid uh, this current global pandemic, uh, corona pandemic in June 2020, this video is taken, whether uh, you know we should be deselecting certain sectors uh, that are going to be obvious losers in the future and Perhaps we should, in, in fact, turn to smart investment managers to do so for us. She also acknowledges that in normal times, um, we should pick a broad uh, global index tracker, um, but that these are not normal times. So as I said, this video is shot in June 2020. Uh, cases might be down, but there's still a lockdown, lockdown and uh, the severe travel restrictions. Uh, uh, yeah, there are loads of tests, uh, rumors of remedies and treatments, but there's uh, not yet a vaccine. And in fact, there is a threat of a second wave. So the future is still highly uncertain and uh, economies are uh, facing huge declines. Certain sectors like travel and hospitality uh, are facing uh, massive impacts in the future. So the first question really is, uh, would you be able to pick a sector, you say, an obvious uh, underperformer? Well, really, you know, uh, my, my argument would be you can. A lot of these sectors are obviously uh, going to fare or have fared incredibly poorly, but that's um, yeah, not something you know from this point on. Let's say you have one sector that's gone from 100 in value to 20 in value. What you're really saying, does it massively underperform, not from 100, but from 20? Um, and my uh, argument to you would be that it's actually an incredibly bold statement to say that you know this better than the trillions and trillions of dollars and very, very, very uh, well-informed investors all over the world that are doing this. Um, so my, I don't think you can pick these sectors yourself. Um, and I recommend that you stick with the broadest, cheapest index tracker you can get your hands on. In the case of equities, this is indeed the global equity index tracker. Um, the next question then is, should you find a smart um, investment manager to do so for us? Presumably this is someone with access to all the right information, people, and so forth. Now, normally, uh, in normal times, um, in, in, in an active manager, uh, about one to two out of ten of them will outperform the relevant index over a ten years period. This is because of all the fees and expenses they incur on top of what they charge you. So you can argue that these are not normal signs, but is it really likely that the 10 to 20% will become more than 50% such that you can arbitrarily pick an investment manager and have that manager, you can expect that manager to outperform the market? I don't think so. Now, can you then, much like you couldn't pick an a stock or a sector ahead of time knowing that it would outperform? Can you pick an investment manager who will outperform the market? Again, that's very, very unlikely. Uh, your past performance is not an indication of future performance. So it's not that you can just pick all the ones that have done well in the past. I mean, if it was only that easy, that'd be great, but it's not, unfortunately. Um, so again, uh, I think save yourself all the fees and expenses and buy the broadest, cheapest index tracker you can get your hands on. Obviously, think about your taxes. Um, now, of course, what's going to happen is once this plays out one way or another, some investment managers um, are going to have done phenomenally well. And you should expect to see big billboards, uh, books written, them on talk shows saying how they knew this all along. It's a bit of a you know, winner's argument. We're not going to see billboards, talk shows, and so forth from all the ones that have not done well. And it's always easy to rationalize your winners. The question is, can you pick them ex ante, so before the fact, so right now, who's going to do well going forward? Chances are you can't. So, so stick with the index track. Now, but of course, I appreciate in doing these incredibly turbulent times, but there's probably a lot of other stuff going on in your economic life. It's kind of difficult to say that you know nothing. But I'm not saying you don't know anything. It's not like things haven't changed. In fact, I'd strongly encourage you to revisit your um, you know, personal economic, your personal financial uh, circumstances. But you also know that equity markets are probably a lot more risky than they were before the coronavirus. There's, there's data to suggest this. In fact, the market for forward volatility that says this is a far more volatile market. So you do know that. You also know uh, that it, it, that probably suggests that you should consider 
uh, reconsider your allocations in your portfolio. There are other videos in, in this video series that, that, um, um, that addresses this issue. I do want to finish off with what you could call an arbitrage argument that if there are what Rachel says obvious losers as a result of the coronavirus, well, you know, go ahead and find an ETF that shorts those sectors or those stocks and, and, and buy the, the wider index against that. And that way you're not taking market exposure, but you should be able to lock in a profit um, if you're right. And some fact would be a hedge fund type of trade. Um, so, you know, if you're right, good luck to you. Um, chances are you're not. Chances are that you won't be able to tell this ahead of time. Um, I hope that answers the question. Um, my name is Lars Croyer. I'm a former hedge fund manager who's written a couple of books about finance, and I'm now doing these videos as a hobby. And the premise of a lot of my work evolves around how incredibly hard it is for uh, most investors to outperform the markets. In other videos and in my books, I explain what this means and also why, um, in my view, it's an incredibly powerful and valuable thing for most investors to come to understand and embrace this premise. Um, but in any case, I hope uh, your your answer was uh, an your question was answered in this video, and uh, and I look forward to seeing you back here on the channel for for other videos.